Good morning everyone, happy new week. My name is Paulina and it's a privilege for me to study the lesson from the life of David together every morning with you during this week. During this week we will have the lesson Danger in Compromise, lesson number 7. In God have I put my trust, I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Psalms 56, 11. So long as the soul rests with unshaken confidence in the virtue and power of the atonement, it will stand firm as a rock to principle, and all the powers of Satan and his angels cannot sway it from integrity. Testimonies, Volume 4, page 357-358. What a nice promise. As long as we rest in the Lord with unshaken confidence, we will be able to stand as a rock. What is compromise? Compromise usually is giving up something, thinking that you get something back, or at least at least how much you gave up or more. And why do we compromise? We are tempted so easily to compromise because of the pressure, because of the conflict or situation that we or situations where we find ourselves and we think that we deserve something better than the pain and we tend to compromise and after we compromise it's so easy to to cover up because our conscience doesn't doesn't feel at peace because we know that we did something wrong and sooner or later we will try to cover up or justify our behavior and we will see in the david's and um, david's life that that what ha that happens in sunday we'll see what happened with david the subtitle is with akish at gat point a why was the way David chose to free himself from the pressure of soul contrary to the will of God. Lack of faith, of course. And uh, the Bible verse from 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel 27, 1-4 described very well what was in his heart. And David said in his heart, I shall now perish one day by the hand of Saul. There is nothing better for me than I should speedily escape into the land of Philistines and thinking that Saul after that will cease to look for him. Going where? Going to Philistines, the, way, the, the very enemies of his people. And uh, it's interesting that the Philistines that time and of the country was um, formed by five, five regions and each one of them has one king and we see that he chose to to go to Achish the, uh, the Gat and Achish was the king of that region and it's very interesting that that region came Goliath and um, who was Goliath was of course the one the big giant that David killed by the power of the Lord and it's very interesting, now he chose to go to that place to escape from Saul. No, the note said that David's conclusion that Saul would certainly accomplish his murderous purpose was formed without the counsel of God. In his fear, he didn't know what to do and he thought that he has to, to go there and to find peace. The note continues saying, man cannot understand the ways of God. And looking at appearances, they interpret the trials and tests and providing that God permits to come upon them as things that are against them. And that will only work their ruin. Thus, David looked on appearances and not on the promises of God. He doubted that he will ever come to the throne. Long trials had worried his faith and exhausted his patience. It was not God's plan that he will look for, um, for safety in the land of Philistines and the enemy's land. But why he did this? Because 
he didn't counsel with the Lord what he will do in these situations. And uh, he chose to go there. And of course, he went there with all his family and all 600 men that were with him. And Saul didn't look for him anymore. When he heard that David is in the land of enemies, he's like, okay, now we are in peace. What a lesson for us today. When we are in danger of compromise principles, or when we are full of fear, our conscience, uh, we don't think about, we don't rational uh, think, we don't have a rational thinking. We we are so afraid and we look for, for situation to escape so easily. And it's interesting that we go in the hand of enemies. And what happens when we make peace with the enemy? Satan is going to cease to look for us because we are his, on, on his land. That happens so many times with us. When we compromise and we do something that we know that is not good, but we do it anyway because of the fear or the pressure, Satan knows that now we are his and he will cease to tempt us with other things because we are in his land. It's a wonderful lesson for us today that when we are in problems, on trials or situations, to look up to God and not to look of something that we can escape or something that we think that it's the best way for us to do. Let's talk to the Lord and let's ask Him what is His will, what is the purpose of the trials that we are in and He will guide us. He will lead us and he will show us what we do, what we should do. I hope that this is going to be a lesson for you. It was a beautiful lesson for me. And uh, may God bless you and help us all together to stay closer to him and not compromise anyone. Amen. See you tomorrow.